There are three basic programming constructs to control the flow of a program. Selection refers to making decisions. There are two main methods of using selection to make decisions that we will look at in both OCR ERL and Python. OCR ERL uses then and doesn't require colons. It uses end if to denote the end of the if statement. Selection uses double equals to represent equal to. Any indented code beneath an if statement will be run if a condition is true. If it is false, then the indented code beneath else will be run instead. Else if or elif can be used for additional decision making. There is no limit to the number of elif statements that can be used. The program will look at the if statement first and run the indented code if the condition is true. It will then look at each else if statement, running the indented code of the first statement that is true. If none of the conditions are true, it will run the else code instead. Switch case is an alternative form of selection. If and elif are replaced by case, and else is default. Python's version is match case. Switch or match is the data to make a decision about. In this example, it is the value of the variable planet that has been input. Each case is compared to the switch in turn, and it will run the indented code of the first that is true. If no cases are correct, default will run instead. This is the same as an else statement in if then else selection. An if statement inside of another if statement is called a nested if. In this example, if num1 is more than 10, a second number is input. Another if statement is used within the original if statement to see if a second number is also greater than 10. Nested ifs can be confusing to write, so make sure any corresponding if, elif, and else statements are indented so that they align vertically. <laughs>